friends, and welcome back to another bonus episode of every Arnold movie ever. You know, while working on every Arnold movie ever, I unearthed another oddity from his career, Japanese commercials. Doing commercials overseas was lucrative business for stars who didn't want to do commercials in America and have people call them sellouts. So everyone from Harrison Ford to Brad Pitt to Sean Connery to Homer Simpson, yes, even the cast of Twin Peaks have done it without the foresight that one day YouTube would make these commercials available to anyone who wanted to find them. In fact, some actors, including Arnold, had non-disclosure clauses, meaning the ads can't be shown or even discussed outside the country they were intended. But it was an open secret. The New York Times even did an article about it in 1993. And these stars would receive anywhere from one to two million dollars to do these ads. So in the late 80s and 90s, Arnold jumped into the Japanese ad game. And according to Hal Lifeson, a consultant at Dentsu Advertising in LA, responsible for these Japanese celeb ads, certain actors are unwilling to do certain things. Schwarzenegger, because of twins, had a softer image in Japan than Stallone. And he became the hot ticket. I don't know. That's the voice I went with. Now, let's see what Arnold's Japanese commercial filmography produced. Oh, boy. The first one has Arnold entering frame, carrying a car. Nothing strange about that. It's so exhausting, he has to recharge with Nissan Cup Noodle. Then we get this beautiful, pensive shot of Arnold over some text. Next, Arnold crafts the noodles using his bare hands. Great concept. 10 out of 10. Look at that. They turn right into the ramen noodles. Then we're clearly around the Total Recall release time frame, and we get Arnold standing on what appears to be Mars with a crazy looking jackhammer in one hand and a cup of noodles in the other. And that's pretty much it, except for these sweet explosions that go off in the background and this killer soundtrack. Yeah, cut away to those explosions. Good call. You paid for them too. You might as well get to see them. My personal favorite of the noodle commercials is Arnold doing this. And I want that cup with his face on it. I'm gonna hit eBay right after this. There's another one that's similar, but this time he's wearing oh, the same shirt from Predator and the long goodbye. Does that mean the Predator exists in the ramen universe? Here he is posing with some oversized tea kettles, kind of phone this one in, but hey, that check's still gonna cash. Then we get Arnold posing with a big fork and ramen. And the big reveal here is that he's actually on the advertisement on the side of the road. Great little gag here, <laughs> the way he does that. Uh, he takes a page from Twins in Commando and rows a boat in this one, then relaxes on the water with some noodles. When did he cook them? How did they stay hot? These are the mysteries unfolding in the noodle universe. However, we never get an answer because that's pretty much the end of those. I gotta say, I was a little disappointed. I thought they would be a little crazier. But don't worry, that disappointment didn't last long because Arnold didn't just show for noodles. Oh no, he saved the craziest stuff for drinks. Someone must have backed a money truck to Arnold's house because he starred in a series of commercials for this energy drink where he plays, depending on the commercial, either some sort of nerdy Arnold alter ego or an energy drink genie. In this one, his coworkers are making fun of him for being, I don't know, he's wearing glasses. So he downs this energy drink and boom! <laughs> Well, that makes sense. This time, Nerdy Arnold sings karaoke, and here he is again. Then things get ridiculous. Here's one where he just bursts out of a jar and laughs at us. <laughs> and 
And here he is inside the drink while riding a bicycle. He's on an inner tube in this one. And what about this? And then when you need kind of a come down from the craziness, we get this one where Arnold just carries this lady for a little while. But then the craziest one of all, which like feels like it has a whole deep mythology to it, is this one. That's awesome. This one has a storyline where a random kid has fallen off his bike and he's crying. So Arnold shows up and cheers him up with this bottle. It's clear Arnold was having fun with these commercials and was game for pretty much anything, given the amount of money he was making. The makers of products such as instant noodles, canned coffee, beer, and fee, 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 a Japanese vitamin drink, were willing to pay me as much as five million per ad. Five million? He got five million dollars for holding those tea kettles? And the commercial was usually shot in one day. Yeah, if someone paid me five million dollars, I'd be a bike riding genie too. Plus, Arnold doesn't do anything half-assed, made even more clear when you see some of the other celebrity commercials where they're just phoning it right in. Jump. Hello there. Yeah, I fly gel. And once again, Arnold beats out Sly by hawking noodles compared to Stallone, who had to hawk Japanese wieners. Alright, let's get to the stats. Acting chops, 10, incredible range. One ad, he's an insane genie. The next, he's healing a sad boy with the power of a bottle whistle. Kill count, I think it's zero, but I couldn't quite tell. Catchphrase, mmm, tough one, but I think I gotta go with... And here are the every Arnold Japanese commercial rankings. Number 30, Arnold carries a car. Number 29, Arnold poses as an ad. Number 28, Arnold carries a lady. Number 27, Arnold rows a boat. Number 26, Arnold gets bullied. Number 25, Arnold sings karaoke. Number 24, Arnold on Mars. Number 23, Arnold poses. On number 22, Arnold poses again. Arnold heals a child with a bottle. Number 20, Arnold...